So let's start with the basics. And I know this may seem elementary to many of you, but believe you me, you should be paying attention because this is really critical. Here's the IRS's website, and here's how to tell the difference between a hobby and a business for tax purposes. Now, in purple highlight here, we can see a hobby is any activity that a person pursues because they enjoy it and with no intention of making a profit. Now, that is the technical definition of a hobby. If we keep reading, it says people operate a business with the intention of making a profit. Many people engage in hobby activities that turn into a source of income. That happens to many CNC robotics end users. However, determining if that hobby has grown into a business can be confusing. And of course, they list these factors below. Now, unlike many of you, I do live with a corporate accountant for McDonald's Corporation, so I'm very lucky in understanding tax law because believe you me, it is the most confusing thing I've ever tried to learn. So again, Joanna, my better half, she helps me with that tremendously because the government wants to make sure that whatever you do to make money, they will have their hand in. It's fact, we all have to pay tax. Now, whether or not you claim your tax, and this is something else, is something that is very personal and whether or not you've acquired enough money that it would signify you to. And the reason I say that is technically speaking, any money you make, you should be paying tax on. However, we all know that if someone is selling components on Craigslist or OfferUp or different other venues, whether they claim that on tax, that's up to the individual. Now, I get contacted between three to five times a day minimum from guys claiming that they're hobbyists. And in that same message, which I always find comical, they will tell me a product that they're planning on selling. 